Welcome time travelers and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning not only US historical events, but historical events from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to start in 1620 when Frederick William, the great elector of Brandenburg in 1640 to 1688, who restored the Hausenbergen dominions after the devastation of the Thirty Years' War, was born. In 19, or I'm sorry, 1893, Catherine Cole, Cornell, one of the most celebrated American stage actresses from the 1920s to the 1950s, was born in Germany. Now, in 1903, American ventriloquist and radio comedian Edgar Byrne was born in Chicago. Fifteen years later, in 1918, the 20 members Tyboro Council of Lithuania delegates pro proclaimed their country an independent state. Moving on to 1923, when the Barrow Train Chamber of King Tutankhamun was unsealed by British archaeologist Howard Carter. His discovery of the tomb the previous year was one of the most celebrated contributions to e Egyptology. In 1937, DuPont chemist Wallace Hum Corthers painted a uh, nylon. Um, the following year, in 1938, Australian Chancellor Kurt von Schnugensen admitted an Australian Nazi to his cabinet, believed to be the first step in the German overthrow of his government. What row? Um, in 1945, American paratroopers landed on Corgander Island in the Philippines during World War II, and within two weeks, they recaptured it from the Japanese. 1945, or I'm sorry, four years later, in 1949, the first Knesset, or Hebrew meaning assembly, the un Unicameral Parliament of Israel and supreme authority that state opened in Jerusalem. 1957 brought us the British TV pro broadcasters BBC and ITV ended the post-war policy in which there was no programming between 6 and 7 at night, known as the Toddler's Truce. The break was designed to help parents put children to bed. 1959 brought us two events. The first event is American tennis player John McEnroe Mc was born in West Germany. And the second event is after defeating 
the forces of dictator general Belagushri Bel Batistro Fidel Castro became premier of Cuba, uh, Cuba on this day in 1957 and transformed the island country into the Western Hemisphere's first communist state. Uh, in 1981, during the lecture of in Barrett Lebanon, a high-ranking member of Palestine Libertarian Organization, or PLO, declaring that hundreds of Palestinian military officers capable of commanding major sectors such as brigades had comply completed their training at Soviet Military Academy. The spokesman who resided resides in Moscow also affirmed that 2,000 Palestinians were enrolled in the Soviet schools, many in fields relating to science and technology. Moving on to this century, when the German president, Jonas Rue, when he addresses the Israel Knuts on this day in 2000, during the state, a state visit by saying, I am asking for forgiveness for when Germans have, for what Germans have done, for myself and my generation, for the sake of our children and grandchildren, whose future I would like to see alongside the children of Israel. In 2002, the NHL became the first North American professional sports league to cancel an entire season. The 2004-2005 season was canceled after the collective bargaining agreement between the owners and players union ran out. In 2005, when Kyoto Protocol, an international treaty aimed at reducing the emission of gases that co contributed to global warming went into effect. Eight years ago, in 2016, Egyptian scholar and statesman uh, Bortis, Bortis, Bortis Gal, who uh, was, who as UN, UN Secretary General from 1992 to 1996, vigorously supported UN med meditation and post Cold War strife and oversaw lengthy and difficult peacekeeping operations in several war torn countries, passed away at the age of 96, or I'm sorry, 93. And with this, we return to 2024 and our current history. Let's see what this year has in store for us. Until then.